Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to check multiple checkboxes with the help of Selenium Java Web Driver. So I have this demo page where I have four checkboxes which I'm going to select, and I'm not going to use find element by ID or tag name. Instead, I'm going to use XPAP expression to locate these checkboxes. So let's get into our Eclipse IDE. Here I have imported Java Util list so that I can list those elements. Also, I have imported or open QA Selenium, or open QA Selenium Firefox, or open QA Selenium Pi. Now I have this method public static void main into which I'm going to write the code. So first thing we are going to create instance of web driver driver equals to new firefox driver once we have that we'll simply navigate to the web page where we have those checkboxes so we go to browser copy this from address bar and going to paste it here once we have that let's call for list so our list is web element and here we are going to use elements equals to driver dot let's say find elements because we want to find out multiple elements so we will use find elements okay and here we will use xpath expression okay so for that expression let's use double slash then input then within square brackets at the rate type equals to checkbox okay now we can in this line then we will move on to for loop this loop will simply check web element and then point to elements inside here we will simply click on each element okay so what this loop will do is we'll find out all these elements first and then sort out from each checkbox and click it you can also check number of checkboxes so that you can confirm your test many clicked simply type in let's say teacher dot to string and here name it elements dot size so that it's size method that will fetch the number of checkboxes on our page okay so let's execute this project. Okay, now our browser instance is open. So it checked each of this box sequentially. Okay, now we can also have try and catch block here and some delay between each click so that you can see this in action. So you can pause the video, go through the code and check out how checking multiple checkboxes work. You can also change this to let's say radio button or if you have any list you can also go for that expression and check it sequentially. 